Hi there, welcome to Floor Planner. In this video, I'm going to tell you more about the various ways to work with dimensions in your plan. After watching this video, you will learn how to modify the dimensions of a room, how to work with automated dimensions, how to use custom dimensions, how to set up your dimensions for presentation, and how to change furniture dimensions. As I showed in the video before, you can set your units to meter or feet with this icon. Let me toggle on my grid. And now if you click the room icon, you see wall thickness and wall height. You can also type it in the input field by blindly typing. Let's make it 0.3, 2.7 enter then you can set a point and drag while you drag your mouse you can see the dimensions along the walls and in the input field you can type a width and a length while you're dragging and hit enter let's make a room of 9 by 6 meters separate the two values with a comma and hit enter Let's draw a second room inside the first one. Click the draw room icon again and we'll set the wall thickness to 0 0.1 meter now. Click on a corner of a wall and drag your mouse to somewhere in the middle of the room. Notice that you get these dimension lines next to your walls. These are the inner dimensions and on the outside the exterior dimensions which includes the thickness of your walls. Now you can click on the value of an inner wall dimension. You can enter the desired size yourself. Let's make this room 530 centimeters. Click on one of the two arrows to determine which wall should be moved. Let's do the same for the other side. Let's Make this one 4 meters, but extend it to the outside. Notice that if you have different wall thicknesses, like here, this can give a wall that jumps within a room. To prevent this, use the wall balance feature. Like that. Now let's draw a third room inside the first room. Like this. Make sure you use these blue lines when you release your mouse so that it snaps. If you take a look at the automatically generated dimensions on the outside, notice that the dimensions of this room aren't displayed. So you can't use them to enter any wall dimensions. We'll use the wall to wall input. If you move your mouse over a wall, click it and move it. On one side you see this blue arrow and in the input field this distance is shown. It's a wall to wall distance. You can enter the exact wall dimension while you're moving. Let's make this one 1.7 meters. And let's make the other one 2.5. So not all dimensions are being displayed automatically. If you want to show, for instance, how large this room is, you have to draw custom dimensions. Click the line tool and choose dimension. Click on one side of your walls and drag your mouse and release on the other side. Let's do it for the other one, like this. You can click on the dimension and drag it to move its position. Let's jump ahead now. Suppose you're almost done with your floor plan 
and you like to export it for presentation. Everything is drawn. Now it's time to see if all the dimensions are displayed as clearly as possible. I prepared an example. So all these dimensions are automatically generated. You can see that some of them fail at some point. For instance, over here the dimensions cover the garden. I want them displayed outside. Also I'm missing one here. I want to have these two dimensions displayed as one. Um, and I don't need my exterior dimensions. Well, let's first zoom in, select the line tool, and draw the one over here that we're missing. There you go. To change the automatic wall dimensions, select the dimension settings. Here you have an option to convert all these dimensions to separate lines, to custom dimensions. If you do that, they will not interact with your walls anymore. You can edit them one by one. You can remove them, you can move them or modify them. But if you do this, make sure that you are finished with drawing your walls because you can't use them anymore to modify your walls. So let's click convert. Well, here's a warning for it. Let's do it. And there you go. Now I can select the dimension and either remove it or move it like this. And this one, let's move it outside of my plan. Yeah. So I wanted to remove the exterior dimensions. And I wanted to change this one into the one dimension line. So let's click and drag it. And there you go. Well, that's a lot better. Another thing you can do with the dimension settings is change the appearance. And you can change uh, the label scale so that it will be readable when you export it. Let's make it 150 and try to export to a PDF in a portrait mode. I want my scale to be 100, paper size A3 and press export. Your export will be sent to your email as a link. And there you go. There's one more thing I want to show you. For this purpose, let's go back to our previous plan. And that is object dimensions. If you want to place a furniture object, for instance a sofa, click on the furniture icon, search for sofa. And let me see, let's take the brown one. And then you select it. You get a list of related or similar items. But if you click the hammer icon, you can also change the dimensions. You'll see the length, width, height, the rays from the floor and the rotation. You can also use the scale icon to scale it in your plan. Well, that's it for now. I hope this helped your understanding of how dimensions work in Floor Planner and it uh, comes in useful. Happy floor planning! Bye!